so here in net beans i have nothing just a plain empty project over here all right there's a buffered reader for taking input from the user i'm going to ask the user enter the number of terms he's going to enter something which i'm going to store inside your int number as you guys remember the formula is exactly like this zero factorial one factorial two factorial we're going to make an assistant so first let's call our assistant get fact right now you need to tell the assistant what value he's going to be calculating the factorial for that we say by this saying right this part int number we are telling the assistant calculate the factorial for whatever this int number is all right and now your assistant is going to actually calculate the factorial by saying int fact equals to one right if you uh, don't if you don't uh, know how factorials are done in my playlist there is a separate video on how to calculate the factorial so i'm not going to go into the details in this vid all right i equals one i less than equals number i plus plus i'll say fact is fact into i so at this point your assistant has calculated the factorial by some method all right and now he needs to get, tell your boss again that hey dude i calculated the factorial for phi it is 120 here you go so for that i'm gonna say return fact right this is gonna tell the boss now since fact is of type integer i'm gonna tell the boss that hey i'm returning something of integer this is the answer i have at this point you're done and now your boss actually calls your assistant remember so far we have just defined what your assistant does and how he does it we have not called your assistant to do the work here we are going to actually call your assistant by saying get fact and we are going to tell him hey calculate the factorial for five all right and now he's going to give you back a result right now here is one more thing we need to notice your main is static in nature so we are going to have to make your function that is your method also static your assistant should also be static in nature now if you don't know what static is don't worry about it right now i'm going to go in inside the details of what static is later in the course as we go into object oriented stuff till then remember that if you want your assistant to be called directly from by your boss then you need to have this static declaration in front of your assistant all right so now at this point if the boss calls get factorial 5 he actually needs to store the result in something i'm gonna say int x over here blah 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 i'm gonna print this x by saying system dot out dot print ln saying x over here control s shift f6 enter the number of terms i'm gonna say one over here it doesn't matter is it's actually going to calculate for five right so five i have put over here your assistant goes inside assistants okay okay says the number is five all right i'm going to calculate the factorial for five over here he's going to calculate it return that fact back it's going to get stored inside this integer x and we are printing that x over here and that comes out to be 120 over here all right so at this point we are done with the factorial part now we simply need to go ahead calculate e initially we are going to assume that the value of e is zero there is nothing inside e all right if you guys remember there's going to be one by two one by three and stuff like that so e is going to be double it's going to have fractional digits so i'm going to say double e equals to 0, 0.0 all right so now at each step i'm going to calculate current term for example current term is one by two over here current term is one by three factorial over here i'm going to say double current term equals to one by get factorial for i now you're probably wondering what this i is think about this initially it is zero then it is one then it is two then it's three in short it's inside a for loop all right that starts from i equals to zero that goes till number right and i plus plus so i have calculated the current term now i'm what i'm going to do is now remember at this point we calculated this then we calculated this then we calculated this we need to add them up together right so i'm going to say e equals to e plus current term if you remember the uh, presentation where i've actually shown that box expanding as you put each single thing inside so i'm going to say e equals to e plus current term i'm going to print e over here now remember let's test this out first uh, if you have only one term it's going to give you one by zero factorial which is going to be one let's test that control s shift f6 number of terms one okay it's giving 1.0 if you have two terms it's going to give you one by zero factorial plus one by one factorial which is answer is two right so let's go ahead and run that i'm going to say two terms over here it's going to be 2.0 let me put for three terms and now we have a problem right you have three terms it's going to be these three it's actually one plus one plus one by two which is 0 0.5 it should be 2.5 but answer we are getting as 2.0 now you guys are like what the hell how what what happened here is the thing here's a mistake take a look at this 
one is an integer get factorial that is your assistant is also going to give you back an integer integer divided by integer equals to integer in java all right so we need to typecast this to double i'm going to put double over here now this is going to run perfectly just watch the magic over here three terms 2.5 we are done let's put 10 terms over here and bam you get the value 2.718 as i said more terms is more accuracy so if you put a bigger number like probably 20 you're going to get a more accurate answer so I hope you guys understood something out of this vid. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know what you think about this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next vid. Have a nice day.